up YouTube, Mr. Lama C here, and today we're going to be continuing the uh, Trap Sim guided playthrough. Now I started this actually a long time ago, um, and then stuff came up and we never actually got the next parts. But we just put it up on YouTube, so uh, part normal is right there, and we're going to be jumping into part nightmare. This is where we'll shift from fire traps into light traps and just continue on. Now again, this is one of my favorite characters to play through the game with. I think this is also a fantastic character for those of you who are maybe a little bit newer to the game or who just want to, maybe have never experienced playing through single player, right? It's very different from multiplayer when you have friends, when you have people rushing you, when people have given you free gear, all of this stuff. It's a very different experience. It's a very fun experience. I always recommend it. Um, but if you grab a character, join along, play along with this, you will find uh, the game is a little bit harder and, and, and honestly really fun in my opinion. Um, and so hopefully with part Nightmare here, let me capture the game, you will uh, get to enjoy this next piece of it right here. So let's dive in. We'll do a quick gear character review and then we'll Can move you use your Twitch forward. voice for the YouTube vid this time? It's, it's the same voice. So here is what we have currently on the character. We're using Leaf Staff. This is because plus three fire skills do contribute to fire skills of other characters, not just sorceresses. We have a two open zagat helm. I never made anything in this. We could have put Ral Ral or whatever nice runes we found. Um, we could have also put, um, the music's a tiny bit loud, isn't it? We could have also put, you know, uh, Neftir if we wanted to make Nadir. I can also just save it for Ort Soul. The Trapson is very strong. Um, so, you know, it's not a huge deal. We have Nogazin right here for some nice fire resist. 50% is great. Low hit recovery as well. We've got Stealth just for the faster run walk, okay. faster hit recovery. Um, and the FCR is all right, but we don't really need it on this character too much. Sanders gloves are nice. 20 IAS helps us with our trap laying speed, because remember that's based on IAS and not FCR. And 40 to life, of course. Never gonna hate that. Just some lightning resist right there. No, some more resist. Mana is really nice. That 55 to mana, that's pretty helpful. Just, you know, help us a little bit as we move on. Fire resist on a belt. And then cold resist, hit recovery, half freeze duration on our boots. And we have our teleport staff, of course, right there for charms, just whatever pieces we found. And uh, over here we've got this and this. So we made this so we could make a spirit sword when we get those runes. Talithal Ork, we just need the Am. And then we have this right here to make our uh, Ancients Pledge in whenever we want, Ral or Tal. So we need one more Ort and an Am rune and we can make those. I've also got Venom Grips if I want more Poison Res later on. This is a decent belt, 10 life, 24 hit recovery, 29 cold res. Pretty decent, definitely better than what we have, but it is 60 strength. So when we respec, if we find like something else we really like, we could do that. Now, something we can even just do right here is just look for some gear. This is always something I recommend when you get to Nightmare, um, is just looking around and seeing what sort of gear exist because you'll find lots of really nice pieces and also we can look at our, our skill tree i've got five in burst of speed and everything else into wake of fire and then fire blast coming up so you can just keep resetting if you want like this we're level 33 at the moment Good day. pretty much everything in vitality tiny bit in strength what can I do for you? and we can just check around and see what there is now faster run walk is generally what i want to be looking for a lot of times for just boots but you can find better boots if you really wanted. Greetings. Additionally, if we want to get a better map, this isn't a great map for, you know, that farm. We could, we could reset, get the waypoint over here or get an exit to this left side. And we could go back and forth between Jeet and Charcy and just find ourselves some boots that are like, a 20 fast run walk, 25 fire resist, or, you know, whatever stuff. We could find a better belt that has, you know, a little bit more res. Big life belts are always nice to find. All of that stuff, you can just go and farm right there. So if you're missing gear, um, I think that is a great place to farm it. The best place I really like to go farm it, though, is in Act 2, because you can just go back and forth between um, 
whatever his name is. They'll never see me coming. <laughs> whatever his name is. And the waypoint. Not Drognan. Drognan won't have it. El... Impossible. Not Eldritch. Elzix? Why can't I remember his name at the moment? Yeah, Elzix. Just sounds weird, doesn't it? So you can just go back and forth and shop there. You can go to the um, sewers in and out of that just to reset it. And you'll be good. Now, remember, we can totally adjust the player's count. You can see this is currently on player 7. Um, you can adjust this up and down however you would like by just typing slash player space blank and whatever you want to put in there. Uh, and that is just a great way to... There. That's just a great way to uh, go ahead and get a little more experience. Level your character up a little faster. Go ahead and just kill some basic stuff. But for the most part, our goal right now is get to the Whoa. Black Marsh. Get to the tower and start farming the tower. McBain, thank you for the sub. I appreciate that. I'll go ahead and go back and do this. And I'm just going to go down to players one for the Den of Evil. Just because going around, you know, just kind of want to kill it fast. It's so dark. Perfect. So we'll clear this out. Get this skill point. Get this respec as well. We'll go back into vitality. And again, all skill points are going into Wake of Fire and Fire Blast. I'm not really caring about Wake of Inferno, though it is okay versus like Ancients, but we're not going to be using it for Ancients right now. That might be Hell Ancients that we do. Assassin's the same strong as it was last ladder. Assassin's actually going to be a little bit better. They're fixing and adjusting next hit delay, which is pretty crazy. I'm really curious what they're, what all they're doing with the changes on it, because. That could, that could improve Fire Assassin. That can improve Mosaic Assassin, which is kind of crazy. And maybe some other characters and builds. Impossible. Nightmares should be pretty easy. I also like checking crowns for three open sockets or mask or anything, because sometimes just having a helmet with just like Ral or Thol in it for 30, essentially 30 all res, it's just really nice, right? Resistances are just super, super good in this game. But yes, this character is one of the more dominant characters for sure. And uh, is going to kind of wreck through all of these guys. All right. Player seven. Set that. Tuesday are patch notes. So we'll get all of the, all the stuff Tuesday. The rogues test. Can I update my schedule that's posted on Twitch? Yeah, for some reason it's like the wrong time zone or something. I don't know. Because this should be like when I stream right now. Like, if it doesn't say I stream right now, then it's not correct. I'll figure out what's wrong with it. So we're back to player seven because again, experience is just super juicy. Put the point into Fire Blast, now that Wake of Fire is maxed. And we will just go find ourselves the uh, Black Marsh. And like I said, along the way, we will just awesome. kill. All of the baddies. Yeah, Wake of Fire is pretty insane. It's, it is quite quite good more vitality what if we're the baddies what you act like these monsters are just peacefully hanging out and then we're running in there and murdering them that would be ridiculous no we're the good guys Yeah, I really like the, the play-alongs, and I did... I'm gonna grab Regis. I did, you know, play-alongs before. 
Um, but they were most of them were in uh, LOD. So I think having some for detour is nice. And there's always my map pack in your mind video if you're ever curious how I find the exit so often. It will guide you. I can't. Okay, that looks like it might just go straight across. I mean, it will, but probably the exit there, but we'll go ahead and check this way. Why not? Impossible. And the nice thing, really nice thing about Wake of Fire is you can just kind of leave you know, little wakes of fire in your wake. Impossible. And they'll just kind of kill and you'll get tons of experience and everything. Now remember, you want to drop two at a time. Until, I mean, again, with the next hit delay, maybe that'll adjust and it'll, you'll actually want to drop more. But, as of right now at least, dropping one to two at a time is generally good for next hit delay purposes. And whenever you find these boss monsters like this, stopping and just killing them or keeping them dragging behind you to kill is generally a pretty decent idea. You don't have to even kill the boss even if you don't want to. You can. It doesn't super matter. But you want to at least kill all the minions and stuff. They have a lot of experience for you. So it's a great way to level up rather than killing everything. Impossible. If you switch weapons just before you kill, does the MF of the swift weapon count? Yes. Magic find occurs as soon as the monster dies, it checks what your uh, weapon, at, or just what your magic find is at that exact moment. So that's a great strategy. On your offhand, just have like, you know, a six-isted crystal sword and the four-isted shield or something, you know. You can just go crazy. Oh, that's nice. You think Amazon is faster at leveling compared to this? Are you watching us level? We're flying. This is ten times faster than Amazon. <laughs> I mean, Amazon's, yes, when they get their charge strike going and stuff, they can be quick as well. I'm not sure they're faster than this, though, still. I mean, this is the, what, second or third fastest speedrun character in the game? Sorceress, Paladin might be second, and this could be third, or this might be second and Paladin's third. And Zahn's probably like the fifth. Am I looking forward to playing Diablo Immortals DLC, Diablo 4? <laughs> You're just asking for YouTube commenters to yell at me. Impossible. Yeah, I think watching the Riker interview piece, it makes me excited to at least check and see how the end game Go flows and what all is gonna happen there. You know, I think. Thank you, Pine. I think with a lot of games nowadays. The focus really comes on the end game. So much so that they have a button that literally says skip campaign, right? Whereas like if you skip campaign in Diablo 2, which you know people kind of do I guess with getting rushed, but even then I like rushing. I think it's a fun like activity. Um You know. But regardless, uh, you know, it's like the campaign's so great. I love like the campaign and, and I would hope that they would love it too as much. But Focuses these days really are on endgame, and a lot of games, a lot of people love having a skip campaign button, and they would want to, they wish, you know, Path of Exile had a skip campaign, and all this stuff, right? So, um, you know, so I think, I think getting to the end game will be, and seeing what the end game is, is really going to be the tell of the game, right? It seems like the campaign, they're building it, it seems fine. 
I think it'll be, you know, an okay playthrough. A little bit too many, a few too many cutscenes and stuff for me right now, but whatever. I just, you know, or or not even cutscenes exactly, but like unskippable, waiting for people to walk and things. And like, let me let me move through the lore piece of it, and just play the fighting. But what will the end game be like? Will that be fun? I think that's really the question now that we just have to ask and wait. Kisses. Kisses. Now, something to remember, change to players one before you kill the countess. Even if she spawns on player seven, that's totally fine. But before you kill her, you need to be on players one. And the reason is she will uh, drop much better runes for players one. Now, every now and then she will spawn fire immune. That'll just suck and it'll just, you'll just have to skip it. Or if you have a good mercenary, you can. Additionally, um, players one is uh, gonna be, oops, um, better to spawn her on. I kind of forgot here and this is a good showcase. Player 7 is a long, long kill. So it's actually better to spawn her on players 1, which means basically as soon as you enter level 5, or right before you get there, right before you kind of cross this area, you probably want to be on players 1. So she spawns there. Io rune, wow. 4% drop rate. But not really helpful for us. Maybe we can make a black for some character somewhere. The order welcomes you. Okay, we'll make sure to go back to player seven. Yeah, I really like the new hustle rune word. What it, what are the requirements again? That could actually be a fun um Shale Co Eld. So you have to get a co rune. But if we got a co rune, I mean that would be really, really great as an upgrade for an armor for this character, honestly. Now we would lose some FCR. But I think it could be really Yeah, hustle hustle is very solid. And then some of those helms are, you know, not bad as well. Shales drop all over the place. We'll probably find a shale, but getting a co will be, you know, questionable. And we can't farm. I mean, we could farm Hell Countess, because we'll be light traps by then, and she's not lightning immune. And, yeah, the idea of the skip campaign button, it isn't like I hate the idea that you can skip the campaign. Right? Because, yes, the idea is still... I just don't have to skip the campaign if I don't want to, right? I can just keep playing through it and enjoying it and everybody else can just skip it and go to the end and that's all fine, right? But it kind of goes a little bit in the way of what I was talking about with Mosaic Assassin, which is if there is a better, faster, more efficient way to kind of play the game, you're always kind of incentivized slash slightly punished if you don't choose that way in a little bit. You know, it's like there's the idea that, you know, I would be like, what if rushing didn't exist in Diablo 2? I would be cool with that because then Everybody's on that same even playing field of they want to, you know, you want to get that next character. You have to build that next character and level it up and play through and whatever. Many of people would hate it. That's totally fine. I, I, I get it. They just want to get through and get to that. But, you know, it's like everyone's on the same playing field with it, right? Um, but when, you know, rushing does exist, I feel like uh, I probably need to get rushed because then... You know, this is just, I don't know. It's its hard to give the reasoning why, but you feel like if you're not 
getting rushed as well, then you're being slower. Ah, crap, I forgot players won. Players won. All right. I did it again. All right, it's going to be a long, long kill. I don't exactly know how to explain it, but there always feels like it's kind of like a game having pay to win in it. And I know that's not like an accurate comparison exactly, so don't say like, oh, you say, oh, see, there's immune to fire. Didn't matter anyways. But it's like, if a game has pay to win in it, you don't have to pay, right? You don't have to contribute money. You can just be free to play. But the fact that it exists in the game creates it like, well, some people will, so they're going to be stronger, you know, be faster, be better through, you know, get through the game faster, whatever stuff. And there's a little bit of, like, fear of missing out with it. There's a little bit of, um, you know, just, like, whatever piece, right? You're like, okay, if I want to compete and be as fast as the, the best guys, the top guys, you want to do all the fast things. You want to make the strong characters, you want to do all that stuff. And you don't have to, and that's, you know, is a beauty, right? You can just play a slow boas on and have a good time. You can do all these things. But, I don't know. Oh, wait, I'm on players one still. All right, player seven. So, I, I feel like there's some psychological piece to it. Additionally, the idea of skip campaign just literally being a button makes me feel like the devs don't believe in their campaign almost. You know? Alright. Players won. There we go. And I know that's not true. I know they believe in their campaign and they like their campaign and they just know that a lot of people want to skip through the campaign. Um, you know. So, none of this is exactly rooted in great logic. It's just a, a feeling. Ethrin. But... Good day. The way their campaign is built as well, I'm not sure it's one that you will want to go through and play over and over as much. Because it is more of a lore, lots of cutscene, lots of characters walking, gotta go and, you know. The way the campaign was, was built, it, it feels like one that probably having a skip option is is better. So, I don't know. I'm just spitballing right here. I, I'm not saying anything. I know some YouTube commenters will say I'm only negative and all that, but I'm really not trying to be negative about it. I'm just trying to uh, throw out a bunch of different thoughts with it and try and understand my feelings. But yeah, it's like if Diablo 2 added a button and it was free Enigma and you push the button and you get an enigma. I can't. I'm sure many people would be happy. They'd be like, perfect, you beat the game, and once you beat the game, you push the button, you get your enigma, and now you can teleport around. And if you don't want a free enigma, then just don't push the button. You know? But then you're like, But now I feel like I have to push the button. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying skipping the campaign gives you a max level with the best in slot gear. Uh, I, I recognize that. It's, it's not a straight... You know, one to one there. It's just the idea. 
trying to identify the psych the psychology behind that button. Speaking of Enigma, what are the odds of dropping two beer runes on the same LK run? Try not me, change I players one. It either. Okay. Also, no more boring tuna, no more boring life. No more boring tuna, no more boring life. Thank you, you tuna. Uh, that would be the absolutely insane odds. I really thought I went to players one there. It's all right. She's at least not spectral hit, so it's she'll, she'll die faster. Tier, tier. I mean, am I a normal? What are these rune drops? Good day. Ridiculous. Back to player seven. And I mean, the nice thing is I'm already level 42. And again, you can you can move as fast or slow through here as you want. You can just keep leveling up, killing all the stuff. You can only do a couple at a time. Impossible. You know, you can teleport across if you want. Try and just burn through. You can just stick on players one and just try and be crazy fast on it. But I would say you'll generally level to like the mid 40s. Remember, we're just looking for Am Ort at this point. Um, so, eventually the experience will start to fade here. I can't. Players 3 is a really good drop chance to, like, Especially for, for bosses to difficulty ratio. But yeah, you can just get a lot of really good boss groups in the tower here and just get crazy levels. Am I doing rank one attempt in season four? No, I probably won't do rank one attempt for a little bit. I mean, I have a newborn, so I'm, I'm kind of needed more as a father. But regardless from the skip campaign button, I'm very excited to try out the end game, especially with the idea that one, they're, you know, gonna make like uniques and things really rare, they said. There'll be a lot more item chase with that. I think that'll be really interesting. Players one. Um, so I'm excited for that. I'm excited to see, to try out kind of the Paragon boards and see how that building goes. Just see kind of how they, you know, they seem really excited about Endgame, the devs. And so I want to, you know, if that's the piece that they're really excited about. Amro, nice. And that's something I want to be kind of excited about as well and, and see. Baby is new hobby, yeah. Good day. <laughs> okay. So, Talthol or Am in our four open socket sword, 25 FCR, 94 man man, we really just rolled as bad as we can there. That's fine. Um, perfect. And we need an Ort rune. Hey, Llama. Here's How three often towels. do you check so your email? Asking for a friend, Kappa. Uh, here and there I check it. Usually every couple days I'll like go in and check. Did you send something recently? Put that in Vitality. And we'll go player seven and keep going. I just want an Ort rune. I don't crazy need to get this Ort rune right now. Okay, I will go check my James. Um, I don't crazy, crazy need the Ort rune immediately because I can always get an Ort rune from uh, saving the barbs. 
So we would just be a little bit later on getting our Ancients Pledge, but it's also not crazy. Will I stream D4? Oh, definitely. We'll, we'll definitely do some, some good D4 streaming. And like I say, I'm going to try that game out and give it, you know, a very honest look and see how it feels. Again, maybe, maybe, you know, like playing through Fractured Peaks there and, and just the beta, I felt like the game was all right. I felt like my Barbarian playthrough is the most enjoyable. Uh, there was definitely pieces of it I enjoyed. There was definitely pieces of it I didn't enjoy, you know, and I talked through all of the those pieces already in my, my videos. Um, the dynamic level scaling and things, yeah, that stuff I didn't enjoy too much, but I enjoyed, like, the combat with the barb and fighting around, and I thought that was pretty fun. Um, the, the potion system, I think, is, like, improved for sure over something like D3's potion system. D2's, I, I honestly don't know the best potion system. I, I don't think D2's is perfect either, and it's, it's hard. Players, one. Oops. Um, but, and now we'll start putting into Wake of Inferno. But there were definitely, like, things I, I enjoyed with it, and so I'm curious to see. But like I say, will it really start to improve later on? Potentially, and that's something that could be, you know, really nice. Ral rune, alright, we're one Ral short. I'm going to go ahead and continue forward. If you have... If you have a, an Ort rune right now, I'd say keep going. If you don't have your Spirit yet, keep going. Get your Thol and your Am runes um, and get yourself your Spirit. Because this will be very helpful later on. But for right now, um, you know, I'm very close to having my... Uh, We'll just put some rejuves away. Very close to having my Ancient's Pledge. And that'll be something that I can get just, you know, if I drop another Ral Rune or an Ort Rune anywhere, I'll be able to get it. I'm level 44 already. The experience in the, you know, in the tower is going to start dropping off pretty soon. So we're just going to run ahead. Just do all of this. Oh. And all those four second bullets that trigger. Oh, I have you shared thoughts on that? You have to do that too. Yeah. I mean, again, the creators of Diablo 4 are the creators of Diablo 3 and the creators of Diablo Immortal. This is not a diss. This is not a whatever. This is a that is who created Diablo 4. So, as you're generally going to have, people that create games in a certain way are going to, you know, continue to build using systems that they know, ways that they know, all of this stuff, right? So you're just, you're going to get itemization that is more similar to itemization of Diablo 3 or Diablo Immortal. You're going to get leveling and, and, you know, all of this similar to those systems. And they definitely changed some systems, and I think they improved on Diablo 3 in a lot of ways in Diablo 4. If you take away the microtransactions from Diablo Immortal, I don't think the game would be terrible. I agree! A lot of people really hate on Diablo Immortal. And, I mean, honestly, they should because of all the microtransaction garbage. Skillman, thank you! But, if you take away all of the, all of the, like, microtransactions and stuff, I don't think the game is amazing. But I don't think it's, like, a really terrible game. I thought it was, you know, it was fine to play through and stuff. The, the biggest things were like, you know, running into kind of like level scaling and things. And and it just had a bit of the generic piece to it. Hey, a Thorin. Right? 
that was that was my like piece was it had a lot of generic feel you could have told me it was any ARPG mobile game and I would have believed you you know and that's one of my biggest complaints with Diablo 4 is I also feel like Diablo 4 is a bit generic feeling in its look play style whatever right but it comes off of you know the creators of Diablo Immortal and Diablo 3 so they're going to have a little bit of a similar style Impossible. Uh, I like Phoenix Strike and then Blades of Ice I'm a sucker for a rare ring, man. Now, a lot of people like to, to say that D4 is nothing like Diablo Immortal and all of that. But I would argue, honestly, go play Diablo Immortal. Like, I played for a bit and I watched a bit and did some reviews of it and stuff. And I would say go play through and then look and compare systems. You know, you don't have to just compare everything straight across, right? Oh, this looks a little different than that. But... I think when you when you compare things across, there actually is some similarity, but of course Diablo 4 removes any of the pay to win pieces of it, which is makes it a lot better. Hope they add more D4 endgame content. Yeah, I mean I think that's where their focus is gonna be, right? They're they're really aiming to go into the Path of Exile style, or the, you know, whatever, probably just more modern RPG style, which is we're going to create new seasons every three months, and that's going to be filled with, um, you know, new stuff, right? And I think that new stuff focus, I mean, obviously, if they have a skip campaign button, it's not going to be in the campaign, really. So I would imagine every season there's going to be new bosses to fight, new, you know... Just whatever, whatever pieces there. Impossible. Okay. Um. Okay. Continuing our trap assassin, I mean, again, it's pretty automatic for, for this point of it, right? Because again, we're just really using, 18 to life is kind of nice, but kind of like the 14 light res still. Um, we're just using this wake of fire and just kind of mowing stuff down, which is how you're gonna go through the initial pieces of nightmare. It's not until kind of later nightmare, you'll need to shift over and start doing some more stuff there. Again, like I said, you can always look around for better belts, better, um, you know, gloves, boots, all of these things. This is stuff that I like to look for when I get to Act 2 of Nightmare. And we'll do that little shopping spree, obviously, soon enough, as we're almost to Act 2. Also, champion shaman packs and fallen packs like this are worth a lot of experience. Same with beetle packs. So, killing at least all of the fallen is a great idea. It is a very, very good idea. You just get a lot of experience. Only when it's that champion pack. I mean, you can also kill it when it's the other packs as well. It's still, like, good experience, but... A unique pack is, you know, like, this is okay. Killing those minions, yeah, it's fine. But the champion packs just give tons. Will I use shopping music for the shopping spree? We don't... I mean, you know, we're, we're a serious stream. We don't focus on that. More Wake of Inferno, because again, that's just a synergy for Wake of Fire. And we're just boosting our damage up. Yeah, I'll kind of, when we get to the hell portion, I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, we'll, we'll go through all of the different nuances, intricacies, whatever. I mean, again, we're already level 46, which is crazy. We're gaining experience like mad right now. Um... 
if you want to get this waypoint in Nightmare, it's not terrible. I would definitely say farming Mephisto is better, but some people, they, they like farming in Dario. They want to farm here, so you can get the waypoint on level two. And there's the waypoint, and you can take that. We'll respect to light in Act 3, and so this will be... I thought this was the exit, but that's fine. Um, we'll respect in Act 3. At the very end. Because in the Flare Jungle, having Wake of Fire is honestly really strong. Really good way to just get a ton of experience if you want. You can go farm there for a couple times through on P7 and just level up insane amounts. Those guys are pretty annoying to try and fight, honestly. So I don't feel like doing it. Alright, let me go check this way. And then once you kind of move into the lightning, it'll be good. Alright, so, if you go down to level 4 on player 7, she'll spawn on player 7. Now that's not horrible because fire damage murders her. I'm going to change it to players 3. We'll still get good drops. She'll still die pretty fast. We could stay on player 7 if we wanted to, though. But we'll just go players 3 here. Ethrun. Fight. And just pretty much avoid her damage. Feel free to, of course, drop a TP for safety. But you can see, P7 would definitely take a little bit of time. Ithrun. Where's Ral or Orc? can also throw some fire blast of our own at her for added damage. And there you go. Just like that. Act here. 1. Death Nightmare is done. Give yourselves Dario. the clap, everybody. Hello. That was super easy. We leveled up 13 levels in Act 1. Insane. We can go back to player 7. No SOJ drop for us. Super sad. And we can, you know, sell, keep, whatever we want with these things. But now here is where we can actually start uh, shopping a little bit more because, like I said, Elzix is going to give us a good shopping spot. So we can just check for some, I mean, like this. I've got 20 IS-40 life gloves, so I don't really want that too much. But if you want a little magic find, these gloves would be amazing. If you don't have like Blood Fist or Sanders, these gloves would be super, super sick. Right? Guys, we're not doing shopping music. We need to be what serious. Okay. So shopping music gets you a little bit better thing. So first off, you can see 76 to life. That's huge. Tons of life right there. And secondly, we can see right here, 30 fast to run walk boots. You can even get these with resistances. Of course, the more you shop, the more that you get. Also, if I ever found Ort Soul, I could also make a lore helm for another plus one skills and 30 light res, which is always nice. We'll save that for later. For now though, we'll just go here and put these on so we can run a little bit faster. You don't have to get fast run walk boots. We have burst of speed. We already moved decently Immediately fast. Immediately subbing for shopping music. Aeroplane, thank you. Um, but you could definitely, you know, find some like really high resistance boots and gloves and big plus to life on the belt and all sorts of things and get a nice helm right there. Whatever you want. You can get really some some good uh, gear from Shopping Nightmare. If you dedicate 10-15 minutes to it especially, you can definitely get some really, really solid pieces. Still not enough strength for Spirit? That's okay. We're not using Spirit until we uh, respec anyways, so we don't actually need to put the strength in there. We can go back to Vitality. Impossible. 
What up, Mikey? How you doing? So, yeah, like I say, here we can just kind of kill the random trash if we want. Just look for our exit. But yeah, we will want to make sure when we get to that point, we have enough strength to use our spirit. Halls of the dead. Don't need it. Very good to see. And something you'll note as well as you're moving through is you'll start identifying what kinds of monsters you actually care to like fight and what kind you just care to ignore. J Derb, thank you for the prime sub and reminding everybody they have a Twitch prime sub that they get to use. Once a month. It doesn't have to be here. It can use it anywhere on Twitch. But if you use it here, it buys my, my daughter some diapies. If you don't use it, you're just paying Daddy Bezos with that sub. Um, so, yeah. So you'll start identifying what kinds of monsters you do want to fight. For instance, beetles are like really good experience. They keep moving at you, which is nice and stuff. Leapers are really annoying and like super awful to try and kill because they keep getting bounced back with everything. Okay, for diapies. For diapies. Thank you, Rainbow. Welcome back. And of course, if a mob is like fire enchanted, magic resistant, taking forever to kill, you just don't have to kill it, right? You can just avoid. Avoid it in that case. Yeah, leapers are a, a pretty rough mob. Plus, the amount of experience they give and stuff. A lot of times it's like, eh. One to fade. So we'll just keep looking right now, see what we can find. This might actually be an exit. Best item I've ever found in this game. That's a hard thing to say. I've found so many things. Okay, got a waypoint. Here's the Maggot Lair. We're gonna go down to Players 1 for the Maggot Lair just because trying to fight in the Maggot Lair on a high player's count is awful. Additionally, we don't really want to spend a ton of time in the Maggot Lair. So I'm just gonna teleport through a lot of it. I can't. There we go. A lot of teepees. Okay. There we go. Another point wake of inferno. More vitality. If you're in these big rooms, it's not like too bad to kill some things. But when you get to the narrow passages, it just really becomes horrible. Perfect. Easy enough. 42 to mana is also nice. Like I said, kind of having additional mana there. Have you already talked about your upcoming season plans? Also, tell us everything you know about the patch notes, if there are any besides the known ones. Tomorrow Thanks, we're gonna face. we're gonna learn about the patch notes. Wow, three to chilling armor, two to blizzard, three to glacial spike. Holy cow! If stabs were good, that'd be great. Um, I might go ahead and dump the 12 life and I'll take 42 mana over that. Also repair. And continue. So we've got that done. Let's find our lost city. We can go back to player seven and continue forward. Uh, upcoming season plans. I'm going to do hardcore so group self-found. So I'm just going to play with a group of people. And we're just going to play hardcore and only give gear between ourselves. Oh, neat. 41 months. 
I just thanked you for making the previous guided playthrough videos, so I'm happy you're continuing. I saw that thank you and I was like, you know what? Didn't you say no hardcore because server crashes? Yeah. But, yeah, you know, why not screw around for a season with it? But when the server crashes, I'm going to be so mad. This could also be a place to go down to players one. Just because the mobs are pretty nasty. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it. I don't need to fight for this experience with these nasty mobs. We'll kill them, but then say forget about it. Extra character slots, we do get that. That that will be really nice. Cause I am out of character slots. And we'll also remain players one for the arcane sanctuary. Again, none of this is required. You can always um, do more or less, right? Like. If you really want to fight through the maggot lair on a higher player count, you can. If you want to go through the Claws of Viper, you can. I'm just kind of giving my recommendation of player counts as I continue through. No mercenary. If I got a soul rune, I would probably make lore first. If I got two soul runes, I would consider making an insight if I found a base. But I would need to also get some sort of lifesteal on some sort of, you know, maybe craft a blood helm for him. Or find, you know whatever item to give to him so he can have some life steal. Additionally, getting him an armor. It's a whole lot to do for a mercenary who A, isn't gonna survive crazy often, but B, also just isn't that needed. I mean, this is player seven and I'm just murdering everybody, right? Like, this character is just strong enough, she doesn't need it. So in the Arcane Sanctuary, there's four paths. You have the portals, Across from the portals, you'll have the straight path that's flat. Then you'll have stairs. And then you'll have the stairs with the, like, big swoops in it, right? It's not always set up exactly like this, but that's just how the arcane is. So generally, the best thing to do is to start on the straight path. Because this is going to be the easiest path for the assassin. Again, having to place down any, you know, traps on stairs is an absolute nightmare. That being said, you can also literally just teleport through this entire area if you want and just say, I'm, I've am i got enough gold, I don't care. I'm just gonna teleport it all, right? Not first way. And you can see the hell clans that have a little bit of fire immunity, so they're a little bit annoying. Additionally, if you want, you can change to player seven and then pop all the chests at the end of each way. You can get some nice gear, some nice money, um, whatever stuff in there, and then just go back to players one. Chest spawn on pop, so you, like I say, you can adjust that right at the time. Next way is generally portals or this uh, whatever way right up there. I'd say generally those are going to be the, the next ways to go. You really want to avoid stairs. Super crowded portals you can avoid. And not second way either. Play player seven, not players eight. You can go players eight. Players eight will get you a little more experience. Oops, players seven. But players seven um, and players eight work the exact same for item drops. So nothing changes there. Blessings to you. I am playing offline. All right, we'll go back to players one. We'll go this way. Yeah, I'm just doing player seven for the chest. Also, because you're an assassin, remember, you don't need keys, so you can open all locked chests as well. So you get a little extra over a character that has to carry the keys. 
I just have a staff that I shopped with teleport charges on it. Alright, and it's the fourth way because I'm Mr. Llama. And that's what I do. So we'll go player seven again. Pop the chest. Also a great place to try and find those runes. Not gonna get them there. <sighs> it's truly amazing, man. Pair that. And we'll go this way for the final way. Stairs is the worst direction, the so Cowboys you generally want to do it last. Draft. Okay. They did just fine in their draft. We got some studs. Kill Mr. Summoner. Horizon, your decoy is dead. And we'll see. It is double down arrow. Impossible. Impossible. Player count here can really be anywhere from P1 to P8, depending how you're feeling on it. I'd say more often than not, I want to be, um, here's double down arrow, by the way. More often than not, I want to be like, Players one down here, just because if you run into skeletons and unravelers as the bosses, they're just super annoying to try and fight. So I just I just hate having to try and fight them. But you can always increase the player count, especially we can see like we don't have that, so okay, since we don't have skeletons, I'll raise the player count up. We'll try player seven, see how it feels. Can always adjust if needed. And it still could be up and over there, but we can go ahead and check this down path. Let's see where this takes us. Just remember to go back to players one before Duriel, or you will not have a good time. We are getting four more character slots. Llama said it. Can't. Impossible. I can't. Yeah, honestly, killing ghoul lords is questionable. But this room is covered pretty well. They can't move too far away, so we can kind of get them trapped. A little bit. Focus them in here. I was always trying to run, and they run to corners. But like I say, if you can just get them in a you know not horrible spot like that, it's not too bad. Okay, should be right through here. Go ahead and change to players one, just to make sure. A little bit further. And here we go. With the new season, you will be. Okay, so we're on players one. Make sure you've changed it back. If you want to get some Feywing potions, you can. They'll help with your cold resist. Remember, 50% for 30 seconds. Now we can just go in on them. Now, a way to really fight Duriel, you can always just keep running and try and just set one down, but he'll a lot of times get a shot off on you each time you run. So, a strategy I like to use is this, where you can see me baiting a swing from him, but then he's not connecting a lot of times. And this allows me to kind of dodge out of the way, set my couple traps down, and not have to worry as much. It takes a little bit. But like I say, the general idea is whenever he's about to swing on you, you get in his range and then out of his range, and that'll slow him up to stop, so he'll try and take a poke at you, he'll stop for a few seconds, and then he can kind of get back further away so you don't have to constantly be frozen and trying to cast traps and getting hit over and over. Like I say, it's kind of just a dip in and out. 
Sometimes they'll catch you, but a lot of times you can... He does not charge anymore. That was a long time ago. Make sure your burst of speed is on. Having faster run walk definitely helps with that strategy as well. And boom. Just like that. Look at that. Give yourselves a clap. Act two is all done. We're moving into act three. We are level 49, already flying on levels. Or repair. One to assassin skills. Well, that's a freebie. So we kind of got our lore helm a little bit right there, right? Our lore helm was plus one all skills, 30 light res. We don't get the light res here, but we get this and we can socket quest this if we wanted. Add an ort rune later on and that is essentially a lore helm. We also have our Saigons. Everybody loves Saigons. And just a couple more pieces for some money, which is great because that'll help us for our teleporting later on. Now, going into Act 3, I always recommend carrying at least a couple stamina potions just for all the stamina sapping. But, talk to Jurhan, talk to Mishif, and we are good. Good to go. Yeah, Duriel doesn't give a lot, but that was uh, not bad. So we'll go up to player seven right here. Could also go to like player three here if you wanted. Um, it's a little bit annoying sometimes in this area. Just the spider forest. Kind of wait till the flare jungle before you go up to that like higher player count if you want. But so it can be okay experience from guys like this. But like I say, it will be a little bit more uh, time to kill and things. So. All I do now is clean up poop and puke between the dog and the baby. Get spit up on. That's my whole life. Now. I skipped app two quest one. You're right. I I usually skip it in these playthroughs because I never do it in speedruns. But we could go do it. Baby poop doesn't count as poop. Uh, okay. Impossible. I'm not sure Impossible. when when they're chilling there and you're changing their diaper and then they fall over you. Impossible. Uh, because your level is low. I mean, your life might just be a bit low then. Gotta let Saigons be Saigons. I love it. I wanna get that tattooed on my body. Impossible. Spider Cavern, perfect. I'm gonna go down to players one for Spider Cavern. Impossible. Just cause spiders can get pretty nasty. Yeah, you only have 1k life. That's definitely hmm. a bit low. Jade statue. For a paladin. What should I do with it? I mean, I'm only level 50 without any gear, really. Impossible. I mean, Pindle also just hits a bit hard, and if your res are low as Impossible. well, that could be rough. I am overburdened. I can't carry we'll Check out the gauntlets. Why not? Okay, so we got ourselves an eye. Impossible. 
I'm just gonna stick players one until we get to the flare jungle. Impossible. See if we get a skip or not. And most likely no skip here. Impossible. Unless this happens to just go up top right into the flare. It does not. No skip. Impossible. You definitely don't need to increase Holy Shield. Definitely just from having like Spirit Sword, Spirit Shield, you know, like the plus to skills, Lore Helm. You only need a point in your Holy Shield and you should be pretty okay. Um, but, you know, you, you shouldn't need a crazy amount of block chance. I'd also consider what your, um, what your shield is and if you have you know, a Sacred Targe or something or if you're using a, a shield that's gonna need a lot more stat points and decks, right? If you find a good base shield with a good, you know, higher max block percent on it, that'll help a lot. Oh, you got Hodo and Haas? Oh, how many points do you have in decks? You should definitely not have too many points there. You should only take like 100, what, 20, 140? And with all the stats and Annie and Torch and whatever stuff, you should really not need a lot. I can't. I can't. Okay, so Flare Jungle, we'll go up to Player 7. Impossible. See what kind of Flare Jungle we get. A decent start. Flares. Like I said, this is a great place to just get some get some great experience, honestly. We have Bird, so it's not like the perfect one, but you can always reset it at a waypoint. That can be great. Gray Bang. Reminds me of this what a delicious older game. lady I dated. I should consult on this. Um, the sound of all those punks burning, yeah. Yeah, not a ton of mobs right now. I can't. So not not a very good flare jungles. Start out okay. Inferno, 51. And at this point, you additionally could have respect into lightning traps if you wanted at any point. So if you ever feel like you want to respect, especially at level 50 or level 45 or whatever, you can. Don't 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 think of it like you have to have this. I just find that moving through here with fire is just like so fun and so delicious you get a better aoe here it just feels really good so for me this is just kind of preferred impossible but you can also go through light there and it's totally fine but you do need to respect before act four i mean you can try and go through act four without that respect but it will not feel good at all It'll be very nasty. Okay, got our waypoint. Act 3 early on has lightning immunes. In hell especially and stuff. Um, but there's more like lightning resistant and all that stuff there. Do I play Necro less than any other class? Try and like think. Yeah, I mean, I don't play a ton of Necro, but I don't play some Necro. So yeah, you'll run into fire immunes and tons of fire resistance in, in uh, Act 4, so. Impossible. 
Yeah, I mean, it sounds about right. I feel like I don't play as much Necro and Amazon. I don't play nearly as much. I, I might play less Amazon than I play Necro, to be honest. Impossible. Play a lot of Sorceress, play an okay amount of Barb. I don't really play a ton of Paladin, but I do play it more than the other. But I mean, I think I'm kind of balanced in there as well. I've, I just played so much Paladin and Hammered in and everything growing up that like, you know. You're just like, oof. Play lots of Meepo, oh yeah. Now Mega Meepo. One day we gotta play it. Yeah, like Hammer and feels great with Enigma. It's super crazy. I mean, I played the Sorceress up to 99. I've played an Amazon to 99. Look at that sucker. Wow. 29 light res, 23 fire res. Oh my goodness. That's a pog ring. Thank you very much. That's, whew, that's what we love to find. I mean, that's huge. That's an additional 50 plus resistance right there. Just really helping this character uh, gain some of that. What a beaut. We'll go ahead and turn in, at least get the golden bird for now. Can repair as well. But yeah, I've done the assassin to 99, the paladin to 99. Greetings. The uh, sorceress to 99 twice, I can't. and an Amazon to 99. Wow, I've got five level 99 characters now. Oh my goodness! I didn't realize there was that many. I can't. Next season. I don't know what character I'm going to start. Maybe a bard? Maybe an assassin? I don't want to be an assassin again. Um, bard? Maybe, I'll, maybe a druid could be fun. I never made a hardcore 99. Yeah, playing an eight source party, classic. All right, we are now at the miracle spot. Miracle spot is the lower cost, especially in nightmare beginning at least. There are so many popables, and if you just run around on player seven and pop all of the popables, this is where you can find great bases to make like that inside if you wanted. This is where you can find um, armor bases. This is where you can find runes, jewels, gems, everything. Just run around if you want. You can just click it all. Or if you want to get super uh, specific with it, you can find yourself the fires and the super chest and just run and pop those over and over again. Remember, you are an assassin. You do not need keys, so this becomes even better for you. So you just find this right here. Wherever a fire pit is, this chest. Impossible. And these two chests over here. That one. And that one. You can have up to two fire pits. <laughs> On a single map, it looks like this one only has one, most likely. And you can just do this as much or as little as you would like. Now, you can also get tons of gold by just doing this. 
because you can just pick up armors and weapons Good and you know all sorts you. of things worth tons of gold very easy to get up to a million gold in no time at all by just popping popables and grabbing you know a few things that drop here and there this is also like i said before a great place to get runes you can get that co rune you're looking for you can get that lem rune for the you know treachery that you want to make whatever it is here you can pick up like i said battle stabs and all sorts of goodies there's a ring there's a room you name it it's here i mean not exactly but a lot, a lot of great stuff can be found there great place to farm if you really want to farm for 10, 15, 20 minutes. You can just take that time, run around, do this a few times, especially if you get the double uh, map. You can always reset your map as well to try for a second fire pit if you're really serious about, you know, doing it over and over again. Um, and just, yeah. Is it up to Istrin? Is that the highest? Wow, I didn't know it went all the way up to Ist. Hello. Wow. Man, we're finding some crazy stabs. 34 fire res, damage reduced by 3. I have no Kazin, otherwise that would be a nice amulet. And fire resist 18 is nice, but not super needed by us. Greetings. And the nice thing is you can always come back here as well, right? So if you feel like, hey, I'm running a little low on gold, you can always come back. Pop a couple things, pip, pick a couple things up. Oh, that'll be worth money, that'll be worth money. Super easy way to just get your money source back up so you can continue forward. Otherwise, when you feel ready, just move forward. So, all just a personal preference. Is Rhyme better than Ancient's Pledge? Rhyme is also great. If I got a uh, shale and I didn't want to make hustle, I didn't have co, whatever, I, I could also consider that. You can also, of course, get shale rune from um, a level. Get the shell rune from earlier if you would like uh, doing the countess. But the co rune, if you want, uh, whatever. But yes, if you have the shells and you would prefer making rhyme, having cannot be frozen can be very nice. Especially if you feel like you are going to get hit more. I just aim to not get hit as often. Checking things like partisans can be fun. That's a nice base with three open sockets. We could make an okay, okay thing for a mercenary with that. Totally fine. And we'll just kill some random stuff and we'll go ahead and check around as well for Serena. Foundmate Serena can be a great place to pick up some experience. Yep. Eth Partisan Insights, one of the best mid level insights that you're gonna get. Best base to use for a hustle? I'd be making it in a. Uh, what should we call it? So. It doesn't really matter. In an armor. So I just put it in like a breastplate or something. Any three open socket. I can't carry anymore. I don't care that much about defense. Go ahead and grab the tome. And continue forward to the sewers. Yeah, mage plate works. Like I say, it's it's all potato, tomato. Whatever that saying is. Battle Maid Serena feels like an anime reference, does it? I'd have to check the porn on that. Dolls? I'm just gonna avoid the dolls. 
You can kill them if you would like. Uh, generally down here you want to run this in a counterclock or a clockwise direction. Um, that's generally going to be the best. I'm running counterclockwise. It still gave me the info I needed to go find where I needed to go. But if you don't know map reading, running it in a clockwise direction generally ends up being your best bet. But I guess if you don't know, that doesn't actually Impossible. matter. You'll just need to... Because you still need to know things. Yeah, never mind. Go watch the map pack in your mind video of mine. That'll help. Happy May Day to all the workers. can't okay now i will make sure that i drop down to players one before i go to trav you probably could do a higher level trav if you wanted you also of course will have the waypoint that you can reset but even warren no not to warren he still doesn't have my prototype ready thanks apple unless you're talking about me there Okay, so just turning this stuff in for money. Ooh, 12 to life. That's very nice. Um, I guess I don't need the mana as much right now. We'll drop that. Okay, and we can continue forward. But right now we can go and do our respec. So... What is our respec going to look like? Well, first we want to make sure we have enough strength for our spirit and anything that we're going to need. So we need 47 strength. So I like to make sure my base is there generally, just because let's say, I mean, let's see where I'm, I'm getting three strength from this, but let's say I find a godly ring and I take this off. But if I was getting the strength from something I know I'm going to use or from some charms, then okay, maybe I don't feel as bad. I'll keep it. So we do that. And the rest I'm just going into vitality. Once we have the strength to meet what we need, we're vita dumping here. We don't really need energy and dexterity on this character, so we'll ignore it. Now, we are going to want our burst to speed again. Uh, just always nice to kind of have that. Um, could put a couple points less in there if we wanted. And here's where we're going to get a little tricky. We're gonna put 13 points or so into Death Sentry. Then we're gonna max Lightning Sentry. Then we're going to max Shockweb or Charge Bolt Sentry, either one. Shockweb's probably better because you can put, um, you can start throwing that a little bit. And the reason is because Death Sentry, when you put a few points into it, we could have gotten even a couple less points. It's going to be used for a corpse explosion there. We want that to have a nice radius. This gives us a 7.6 yard radius on it, but it's not boosting the damage of lightning sentry anymore. So we want to focus more on putting these points up here to uh, be boosting our character's damage that way. And we'll reset our skills. And we'll do B there. Good day. Actually, let me. And now we can continue forward. And I actually messed it up completely. Hold on. I realized I didn't get Mind Blast. That's okay. You should get Mind Blast. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh man, I hope everybody didn't copy this build. Um, not a big deal. Kendra, thank you because we have Isual coming up. If you've copied me already, it's okay. It's not a big deal so far. We will be adjusting it really quickly. Impossible. But you will want one point into Mind Blast. I'm ap I apologize, I forgot that. One, one, one. Impossible. You will want. Again, not end of the world. Impossible. Impossible. If you did not 
We'll go ahead and gather one skill point here and two from uh, Isual. And we'll be good. There's also, of course, the respec um, that you can do with uh, Blizzard's launcher. You can just enable respec as a dash in the active arguments. And then you can respec it again and blame it on Llama for why you need to do it. Don't worry, it's not cheating. Llama messed you up. But if you don't want to, again, it's not a big deal. We can pick up a couple skills. Just from right here. Lightning enchanted. And this is where laying down some lightning sentries, but then also having the corpse explosion ready with your death sentries is good. I generally like to lay about three to four lightning sentries and one to two death sentries, depending. If I'm just coming up on, on a boss, I go pure lightning sentries. If I'm coming up and there's no monsters around, I'll go pure lightning sentry. But as soon as the monster starts dying, you'll want to at least put one... Um, one one point there right so we can go psychic camera and like i say we'll be going there soon with uh whatnot we also will be changing out our gear so i'm gonna put my spirit on and my ancients pledge on obviously i still don't have the ort rune kind of unlucky we never got an another ral or um ort rune along the way that just happens but we can go ahead and put that there. We got our spirit. That gives us a little bit extra. And we can get our potion and our additional points. Hello. If you want to have your rhyme shield on, you can as well. I don't have a shell rune either, though, so... No biggie. We'll just run with a little bit lower resistances right now. And just kind of deal with it. So I've laid four lightning sentries, one death sentry right here. And now I'm kind of replacing with more death sentries. Now replacing with more light sentries. More death sentries. Like I say, you're just going to kind of balance back and forth how you place all that down, depending. Rhyme with max block on hardcore. That'd be a lot of points into max block, but again, if you wanted to. When I play hardcore with this character, though, I don't I don't go for max block even. I feel pretty safe. I can't. She's really strong, she's really fast. Great Impossible. vitality, HP conversion. She's got mind blast, she's got book of shadows, all of that. You can get into fade if you really want later on. And this would also be a place I would say, if you want to farm Nightmare Mephisto Impossible. because you really want to take some time with this character and have some fun, get some better gear, this is the place to farm. Get the waypoint on level two of Durance of Hate. Get yourself a nice map. Impossible. Get yourself a little bit of magic find from some gloves or whatever it is. Put three topaz in an armor, whatever. Four topaz in an armor. And start farming Mr. Mephisto. You will have a lot of fun with it. That'll be one more thing we do before we uh, finish out here. I'm just going to kill Mephisto because we're such a high level. It shouldn't be too bad. Now, of course, we can always just cheese him by just going across the river. Lay your traps down and uh, enjoy. Also, hit him with your own stuff here. Yes, I'm going to shop for a low resist one. That is what I was going to say. Firing the piston never seems to be worth it for you. I mean. 
He's a great place to find a lot of wrong items. I can just do a lot. Hey, there you go. Gothic plate, right? Like, <laughs> obviously not for this character, but crushing blow. That's super helpful. We'll grab the ancient armor for some money as well. And congratulations, you have just completed Act 3. Look at those gloves. 27 Fire Res, 29 Poison Res, and 10 IAS. I think I'm going to put them on. It's a fun armor, too. Back when rares were good. We'll repair. And now we will go into our final shopping spree. In which case we go to Act 2. Now, you want to get Drognan facing to this top right. So here I'm actually going to reset my maps. To do this, I'll go back to normal. And then I will exit. And we'll go to Nightmare. You can do this back and forth as much as you need. Just until you check and see. That's not the right exit, you can see. So we want to go back. And this will change the map every single time you do it. So we're just trying for a top right exit out of Act 2. Excited for a new season? Sure. And there we go, we get it. And the reason is because Welcome this back, can just straight. be so much easier for shopping. We're just looking for low resist charges. Exit town, Hello. come back in. That was lower resist skill. Approach and let's trade. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Good day. So you might find it really easy and early. It might take a bit. Remember, you're looking for charges, though, not plus two lower resist Ask. necromancer only. And this will just be something that'll be helpful to have, honestly, wherever you want throughout the game, um, especially for bosses, though. You can use this on for ancients, things like that. It'll just speed stuff up. Uh-huh. But I also like using it in like the Chaos Sanctuary and stuff. It, it's pretty good to knock out a lot of the um, immunities that you're just gonna, you know, run into and stuff. Because lightning immunes in this game are pretty weak in terms of their immunity. And there you go, there's one. It costs a lot of money, 236,000. But like we said, we can always go restock on money whenever we need. Not a big deal. Let's continue. So we can always swap that in whenever whenever we feel the need to break some immunities. Which will be helpful. And like I said, it will be helpful for um, the, the final wave there. I'm going to go down to players one here. Just because we are going to be looking for... I think I already was on player's one, but... Just because we're going to be looking for visual. Be annoying. Kill some dudes. I can't. I can't. There's our exit. Go ahead and come back to that. And we're just looking for a waypoint right now. Again, you can always stop and kill as much or as little as you want. Also, I probably could have put a couple of less points into burst of speed 
because I do have all the plus skills. So, you know, not end of the end of the world that I put, Impossible. you know, five points into it. And I've got all my plus skills and I'll have a little more, but Impossible. just make this a little bit faster. But we probably could have put a couple points. Let's get a little more damage. What not. I can't. There we go. A lot of personal preference with things. Ooh, nice. You get a with sword skills or something, that's super high. Super rare. Impossible. Right, even just 20 FCR is really nice to have for a playthrough. There's Isual. So this give me an example of somewhere that we can just really quickly use it on him. Also, Corpse Explosion is pretty strong against him, especially when he's weakened like that, so... news for Lama RPG? Yeah, we've got a lot of great news. Let me get these plus skills and make sure we do this right and then we'll jump into that. More fire resist. We, we really have a lot of decent charms. I'm going to drop this faster run walk charm because we have pretty good faster run walk. Just because I want a little more space in my inventory. Official group Lama RPG on Facebook. Nice. And now we have Mind Blast and Cloak of Shadows which is very helpful, will be really, really nice moving forward. So I'll show you that a little bit here. So with Mind Blast, if you ever run into difficulty one, you can always just knock monsters back, but then you also get the conversion, which means you just get to kind of stand and hang out. And you can always just knock stuff back. It gives you so much safety. Fan group, I love it. Additionally, we have Cloak of Shadows if we ever need to get in a little more safety. So things will just kind of stop coming after us, all of those guys. Between these two, you have incredible crowd control. And uh, it should just do a ton for you. Impossible. I'm still on Players 1 right now. If I wanted to increase the player count, I definitely could at this point. Impossible. 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 But. Impossible. I feel uh, pretty good just moving around on P1. You can kind of farm where you want to farm with players, which is really nice. I want to go look. Let's go back this way check out this first down. I want to see if we can do Forge and see if we get a Co-Rune. Because if we get a Co-Rune, we can make ourselves obviously a Hustle. If we get a Lem Rune, we can make a Treachery if we wanted. Which we don't really want as much as the Fade and stuff. The Cluster Assassin skills would be nice. Okay, let's see what we get. Yeah, we have the, the Reddit up for um, RPG. It doesn't have it, all the stuff on it, but we can get more. This is just P1 at the moment. Oof. Hold damage plus the Holy Priest hurts. It's a nasty combination right there. You barely get the traps up. Allow us to make a rhyme or a rhyme if we really wanted. Which, you know, is fine. It isn't bad. Okay. What do you need? Um I have River of Flame, so we'll go ahead and go back to normal. 
For Rhyme Shield, you want to... Sh for uh, Ancient's Pledge, you want to shop like a large shield or a kite shield from Farah. For a Rhyme Shield, you want to shop a well, two open socket bone shield from Jarognan. Ask and learn. Good day. Yeah, treachery could be with Lem. Approach but again, it does have the potential to overwrite with its procs, which can be annoying. Do I have an Eth rune? Oh my god, I never picked up the Eths. I have two Nefs. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> we never picked up the Eth runes that dropped. We dropped like five of them. All right, whatever. If we find a net an Ethrin, we we can make one of those later on. Not, nah, I don't care enough. Yeah, we've dropped like tons. We're one Nef short. We'll see what we get. Let's see how things go here. Again, if you want to kill as much or as little as you want here, you totally can. I'm happy to just kind of. Skedaddle through this area. And once we get in, we can start dropping it like it's hot. You can always push back, get a conversion. We could definitely be a higher I can't. Uh, player Happy count Lama. if we wanted. Sad but Lama. again, I'm level Mentally 54 already. Lama. I feel very good on my level. So I'm not crazy worried about that. Thank you, Coconut! Impossible. Plenty of room later on for leveling further if we need. I did spend a lot of money on, um, whatchamacallit, I'll go ahead and pick up some gold on that low resist Impossible. wand. Plus, recharging a low resist wand can be pretty expensive. Now that we're back to our using skills, I'm just going to max out shock web, and then we'll max out charge gold sentry. That. Impossible. Kind of like in fatherhood. I wish I got a little more sleep, but otherwise, it's really fun. Okay. Like I said, we'll just go max lightning sentry, and here we can put. You know, this one, so we can low resistance. But, anyways, Llama RPG is like starting to fly now. It is looking so good, you guys. It's crazy. Prototype should hopefully be out soon. Where we can start playing and messing around, really having a good time. Little animations and artwork is starting to get in there. Stories coming together. Dang, that's crazy. We don't get seven hours at all, but it will be on Steam. Hey, look at that. Got ourselves some Hisar's boots. A little fast for unlock drops, but 25 res, definitely worth it. Should hopefully get some screenshots out for you soon. And we'll go Vitality. Sell that. Put that there. And we can sell these puppies as well. Hail to you, champion. Pair everything. And let's go. How much faster do you think boss will die now now that they're changing next hit? It'll definitely improve it. Uh. 
Act five, give yourselves the clap for completing act four. Good job, everybody. Act five alive, we are level 55. Okay, Flying right spell. now. Yeah, it'll probably affect everything, I guess. And even killing this stuff along the way, not crazy important. It's kind of a nasty area anyways. No, I hope they fix the failed teleport. It's so annoying. Impossible. So we can just run through though. But again, if you want to kill, you're always welcome. Kill as much or as little as you want. I generally would go up to player seven or players eight. Shank, your command is honestly ah, players eight. Because we're doing it for experience here. This is where I would say you can start like farming the experience if you just want to get quick easy experience. Pop in right here. Change this out. Lower resistance, blow them up. Get yourself some gold. Bounce out. Bounce back in. Hello. Nice. Make your money. You're on players eight still. Go out again. Lower resist. And rinse and repeat. This is just easy experience, easy money. Such a great way to level up. So if you ever feel like you just need to level and you just want it to be easy, this is the place to go do it. You can you can do this up to like level seventy if you really want, right? I mean, it's... very uh, very strong for it. So. Another good place is Anya, so you can go and save Anya and then do Kindle. But. Pretty, uh, pretty simple there. <clears throat> so we are going to save the barbs because I do want the runes. Remember to run next to the barbarians so they'll actually escape. Otherwise, I'll just be dumb. We can swap that out. And Impossible. Impossible. Hello, how you doing? I can't. That's Chaco, the classic. Strong doors, man. if you really want to self-wield infinity. I guess maybe now that you get the minus res working for you. It could actually be nice. So yeah, you, you could run around with the self-wielded infinity now if you want, but probably better to use Crescent Moon self-wield and then give your mercenary infinity, honestly. Impossible. Dude, it would be funny if you do higher than your friend is max level 71. Yep. 
Yep, they max him. Let us out. So now we just continue on running. Very lucky. Do I have a TLDR on the bar prisons? Essentially, the bar prisons, there's the three different rows, and they will either have zero, one, or two prisons in them. And they're laid out pretty much, you know, in like the same spot of there or there, right? Kind of like middle right or middle left. So you go check if you have one. If you have two, and then you can kind of move forward and see, you know, if there's more. Uh, that this would be an example of a time where you just do this, and you lower res them. And you make sure they stay off of you. And so if you want to kill these guys, you can do it this way. And I'm just trying to make sure I lay down and okay mix. Sorts. But again, look at how strong this character is for dealing with, you know, stuff like that. It's crazy. Not even a sweat. Okay, frozen River. You can use a cube recipe to recharge your charges, or you can use um, just the repair. Since the assassin gets a ton of gold, I'm just using repair, but you can always do orc plus a chip gem in your cube, and that will be a free repair on all the charges. Web and more vitality. The other skills on them doesn't actually really matter. I don't think too much. It's just the charges. So it's always going to be that same expense for the charge. Point of energy is kind of nice, but not nice enough. Let's do this. I'm going to start cubing up our rejuves. Three rejuves makes a full. Just a nice thing to do when we're getting ready to go to hell. good way to farm rejuves. I like to go around like the cold plains or you know just like cold plains, stony field, whatever stuff and just kind of kill a bunch of mobs and farm the bosses there. This is again another great place to go and farm. Just get really big experience so you can mix this in. Whenever you want. 
farm that as much as you would like. That plus Eldritch, you're gonna just be stacked with experience. I'll go back to Crystalline Passage. I'm gonna go down to Players 1 now. I just wanna get to the Ancients. Don't really feel the need to murder a bunch Impossible. more stuff. Oh, I need to make my Ancients pledge, so we'll go get our runes. Impossible. We'll do that at this next I can't. spot. And uh, a lot of characters, I'd be like, as soon as I got that Ancients pledge, I'd be all over it. This one's so strong, it's like, man, I don't Impossible. even need it like crazy. <laughs> you know? Okay, get our Ralor Tal. That there. Ral, Ort, Tal, Ancient's Pledge. Gets us nice 48. All res, essentially, a little bit less cold. Pretty nice and easy. So now our resistances are max, max, max. Impossible. Only 23 cold res, so our cold res is a little bit low, but that one's a little less important. Um, we can kind of just drink thawing potions whenever we need to help boost that one up some. And if we find something that has good, we could be good there. Now Rhyme is 25 all res. It also has magic find on it, so that's also nice. Um, but you get cannot be frozen, which can be really helpful and really valuable. So again, I don't feel as crazy the need to like require it on this character because she has so much crowd control that cool, they froze me. I just like look at shadows and then and then uh, you know pop them with uh, mind blast and I'm fine. So it doesn't like really make too much difference. But impossible. Impossible. I can understand people wanting it. So it is an option. Definitely is an option, I would say. I can't. Always make sure you keep an eye on how many charges you have. Like I have 15 teleport charges left. Just a good thing. You never want to be teleporting and have them run out mid telly. You like needed one more teleport to get where you wanted to go. But now you're trapped in the middle of a bunch of monsters. It's not a great feeling. So always be aware of that. Get ready to go recharge it when you can. I can't. I can't. Oh, let's see. Perfect. Okay. So for ancients, I can I always just swap this. Me. Honestly, I'm so strong right now. Just want to check and make sure that, like, Maddox's not lightning enchanted or something. As long as that's not the case, I generally feel pretty good. Just coming in and killing him. Nightmare Ancients, especially being this over leveled. Seven. We're not really over leveled, I just mean, we're like a speedrun. We are gonna be totally fine to murder. There you go. Ancient's done. The, uh, pretty simple.
Now again, getting this waypoint can be good because you never know what if there's like souls that are down in my throne. What if I, you know, just get obliterated, blah, blah, blah. So feel free to grab the waypoint here. Which is why you generally want to run this one in a counterclockwise direction. Impossible. That way you can find waypoint more often and then find exit right off of it. Impossible. Nice. Pretty great maps there. We got dolls. Be a little bit careful. I'm also definitely strong enough that I can go for players eight on these uh groups here. And we can shift this out so we can have that. No, you don't always get the same monsters. to charge bolt sentry now and just get ready for this lay down a couple parts explosions and now the death sentries are just going to start doing some work on these guys now we'll go back to some light sentries Set a safety TP over here, just in case. Babson's are good, man. Now for wave three, if we want, we can lower the player count down. I'm feeling strong. I'm gonna do that, hit them with the lower res. I always drag out the last member if needed. Of a monster will explode on death. It's just the dolls. Save your MBU, you can. If you want to use it there, you can. Impossible. 
Now the final wave. I think I'm gonna go to players five. Yeah, maybe we just say players eight. Also, will not convert them. So just be careful there. Eh, players might. Correct. I mean, that's the thing, it's not needed. You don't need to do this on players five. You can do players one, it's not a huge deal. <laughs> Just make sure for bail, we go back to players one. Charge bolt, we're level 61. Absolutely flying. If you want to continue doing bail runs, you totally can. If if the Merce has a lot of magic time, then it will be done. And we'll just set our traps down. And avoid getting hit with coal. Make your first traps in. Nice. Reset your low resist on it. Slash player space and then one to eight. And that's that! Nightmare is done! How simple is that, you guys? Right? That was pretty easy. Give yourselves the clap. You're level 61. That's where I finish hell at. We got ourselves a little gurkies. Always fun. Look at that damage reduction. 16 damage and 16 magic damage reduction. 15 for replenish life. It's nice. But 133 strength. Gross. Is my mic low today? Oh. Why didn't nobody tell me my mic was low? It is low. <coughs> How is that sneeze? Oh my gosh. H-I-I-I-I. Wow. All right, well, this whole video is uh, has a low mic, I guess. Just unfortunate. Thank you, Toadette! Go get a little gold, because why not? Gold's always fun. Just want to make sure you guys got a loud sneeze, that's all. And we can go imbue. Really fast. Saving the imbue for when you're higher level is always technically better if you want like a better item, but oh, we're just uh, trying to do stuff while we play through the game and have fun. So, fifty-eight thousand to repair our wand there, and fifty-two thousand to repair that. Can put some of this away. Put some of this away. And yeah, I mean, we are uh, ready for hell right there. Level 61. Here's our final skill tree, stat tree. Here's our items. Like I say, I can take this, socket it, put that full rune in it, and now we have even more cold res. But our resistance is, everything's looking really good for hell. A lot of good, like, light res and fire res stuff all over the place. If you want to do cows, you can do cows. If you want to just move forward, you can totally do that as well. And I can show you, even in hell, look at our resistances. Okay. We're still maxed on fire res. Because we have this, plus this, plus this, plus this. I mean, our fire res is insane. I can even take these gloves off. And my fire is still maxed. 
Which means that fire res doesn't matter anymore, which means I'll put Sanders on for right now. I could also put that on a minute. Crazy. Crazy how much. Now it's perfectly at that. Our light res could use a little more, and obviously our cold res could use a little bit more, but that's something that we can even just do with, what did we talk about before? Shopping, right? We can literally go and look for different uh, things. You can do this in Nightmare again. Look for better boots, look for better, you could use Fade as well. But I like just going and shopping for it because again, you could find like 40 fast run walk, 40 cold res boots or something and just be absolutely uh, amazing. Everywhere you, you want, everything you need, you know. What you need. So you can just run back and forth, check out what we got. What all is dropped? Welcome to the desert rain. Mm-hmm. Nothing there. What and this need? is nightmare I like to do this. There's a little cold res, there's some magic find on those. Hello. Uh-huh. We'll just do this for a couple more times, then we'll end the video. See if we find any, uh... Hey, a hundred life belt! Look at that! 24 additional life, just for doing a little... Little extra shoppy shop. Welcome to the desert rain. Crazy the things that you can get. Shopping and, and Elvic shopping and Nightmare is like... One of my favorite things, man. So good, you can get such good gear. And with our burst of speed and all the fast run walk that we have, it just you just move so quickly. There's 40 fast run walk boots, right? So if I want to move even faster but drop that 25, now I can do that. Greetings. Probably don't need to look at belts anymore. Whatever. You guys get the idea. So Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe, YouTube. Mwah. I hope this was enjoyable, and I will see you guys in part hell. Peace, everybody.